Shalawan Akim, brother, brother, Zahala from GMS London Camp. First and foremost, give all praises and glory to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai. Double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and blessings unto the sincere Akim Run of Four Winds. Just a quick upload, just saw it, came across this on the news, an RT, but I couldn't find an article, a specific article, but um, I found some other information, some other websites concerning this topic and the new human rights code in Canada, man, where basically they're trying to prohibit to the scriptures, man, being taught, which they obviously Esau has been doing this for the longest time, trying to prohibit the Bible from being taught in schools. But um, now they're trying to you know, target specific scriptures in the Bible that sp speaks against basically homosexuals and faggots, the whole LGBTQ society, man. And basically it's trying to censor the scriptures, man. As in anyone that uses those type of, um, those verses or hate, hate speech verses, that's what they're trying to call it or name it as, then basically they're, um, yeah, it's part of basically hate crime and hate speech, man. And they're trying to basically, um, they're trying to do away with it and do away with anyone that um, pushes that that um, um, those um, that that knowledge, which is the truth, man. Because anything that comes out of the scriptures is basically the cold-hearted truth, whether you like it or not, man. But these devils are bitch made, and they're wicked. But they want to be calling themselves a God-fearing society, but want to take away and add from the scriptures, man. And you know we all know the judgment of that for anyone that does that, man. And they ain't even Israelites anyway, so Esau's finished, man. For even trying to put his hands on the scriptures. So I'm going to read part of this article, and I'm going to close out from theblaze.com. It says, Christian school fears Bible verses will be banned on the new human rights code in Canada. Madness, man. It says, one Christian school in Canada fears certain Bible verse passages will be blocked from the classroom because of Canada's new human rights code, basically to protect fucking... Um, Faggots, because that's what this is all really about, man. Esau just pushing that immorality to the highest point, you know. As the scriptures say, sins, his sins reach up to the to the heavens, man. All, to, all amounts of wickedness, man, and transgressions of the uh, of the of the law. This is the Battle River School Division, just east of Edmonton, in Alberta, is pushing a Christian school to censor certain Bible verses because they could be seen as targeting vulnerable. Minorities. Let's talk about the LGBTQ squad. Um, it says now the um, Cornerstone Christian Academy, a former private school that joined the division in 2009, fears administrators have overstepped their boundaries with the new human new human rights code. It says Metro News reported. It says the, the division has expressed concern about two passages in particular: First Corinthians six and nine. To eleven, Galatians five and nine, five and nineteen to twenty-one. I'm gonna read those real quick. Um, if I can get to it, it says the first uh, where well, they got their their um, butchered versions of it in this in this passage or in this article here. It says the first Corinthians passage, in first Corinthians six and nine. It says neither the sexual immoral, nor idolaters, nor ad, um, idolaters, nor adulterers, nor men that who have sex with men, nor thieves. Nor the greedy, nor drunkards, nor slanders, nor swindlers will inherit the kingdom of the Most High, which it says, but paraphrased, he says that as they've written it here in this article, but they butchered it. But that's, um, in the scriptures, it basically says that no homosexuals, men that um, you know, um, corrupt themselves with a mankind, man, you know, shall inherit the kingdom of heaven, man. So basically, they're trying to protect, you know, these homosexuals and faggots and any other forms of wickedness. Um, you know, men, men that abuse abusers of themselves, Slakia, yeah. and they're trying to protect that man basically because they they want to push that whole LGBTQ society. Now they got the whole transgen transgenderism or gender new gender scheme that they're trying to push with the ID um, ID cards, or basically no male or female being um you know prohibited and pushed in the society, man. Like, you don't have to call yourself a male or female no more, female no more in your applications, man, which is madness, man, because the most high made everything in twos, male and female, made he them, man, you know, as the scripture says in Genesis, the fifth chapter, man. 
You know, the most high made every uh, male and female for a reason, man, to procreate, procreate and to um, replenish in the earth, man, you know, but build generations and that. But these devils, they're against everything that the most high built and, and, and made, man. They want to they wanna just basically un unturn history and do their own thing and push their own wicked agenda, man. You know, that's just genderism. So men can have sex with animals and all the, and all the things that the Lord said not to do, like in the book of Leviticus, chapters in the book of Leviticus about bestiality and all these things. These devils are trying to prohibit that as, that's the norm now, man. You can do it, you know, that do as thou will type spirit. That allows to call each the wickedness, man. And it's funny because he he read that in the in the book called the Book of the Law, which is not talking about the law of the Bible. It's their own wicked laws, man. This is the passage um from Galatians as well. Uh, this Galatians the fifth chapter. I presume um well they obviously they read their own version of it as well. It says the passage from Galatians similarly reads The acts of the flesh are obvious sexual immorality, impurity and the buckery, idolatry and witchcraft, hatred, discord, jealousy, fits of rage, selfish ambition, dissensions, factions and envy, drunkenness, orgies and the like. And that's not as written in the scriptures, but these devils, you know, always butchering. But basically, this is all forms of wickedness, basically, they want to prohibit that as, as the norm, man. That's why the Lord's going to destroy this place, man, because... You know, it's, it's spiritually Sodom and Egypt, man. And Egypt was known for its old, like the oldest works and for its witchcraft. And Sodom was, and, and Gomorrah was known for its oldest works of homosexuality, man. You know? So this is why the Lord's just going to pour out that judgment on Esau so badly, man. Because he ain't got nothing to do with these scriptures, man. You know? He should, he should never put his hands on these scriptures in the first place, man. Or the children of Israel, man. It says Diane Hutchison, this is a spokeswoman of, for the Battle um, River School Division, said administrators asked this Christian school not to be included in those verses, not to include those verses in the student handbook, it says, but perhaps use a different piece of scripture instead. You're taken away from the scriptures, man, you damn devil. So there's a lot of love in the word of the Most High, not for you devils, man. Jacob, the Lord said, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have he, has he hated. And you're going to take that out of the scriptures too. Damn devils, man. It says, she said, we um, were concerned about the 